Welcome to the Macat Multimedia Series, a Macat analysis of Plato's Symposium. What is the role of love in the human pursuit of wisdom, virtue, and happiness? The ancient Greek philosopher Plato wrote the text Symposium to explore the role of Eros, both the ancient Greek god of love and a Greek word for love and sexual desire. In ancient Greece, a symposium was a kind of drinking party, and that becomes the setting for Plato's text. Each man attending the party is told to deliver a speech in praise of Eros, and Plato arranges things so that Socrates delivers the final speech with the most persuasive argument. So, what did he have to say? What was his view of Eros? In Plato's dialogue, Socrates asserts that the central impulse of Eros is to desire a state in which you would no longer have to desire. He asserts that desire is to want something you don't have. If the object of your desire is obtained, then the desire for it should cease. He therefore believed that to love must mean to lack, as you wouldn't desire something you already have. That seems a long way from modern definitions of love. To understand what Socrates meant, let's imagine a gambler. He is a charming and sophisticated man, which somehow contradicts the trickery and deceit he employs for gambling. Worse still, he's impoverished, thanks to large gambling debts. Eros had a contradictory nature too, neither purely good nor purely evil. Socrates believed that one must use the base aspects of Eros to access the superior aspects of Eros. In the case of the gambler, he desires to gamble so that he can become wealthy and be free of gambling. Not only does he desire to win money to pay off his debts, he also wants enough money to be rich so he never has to gamble again. The gambler desires to subvert the riskiness of gambling because what he really wants is wealth that cannot be taken. The gambler and his desire represents the central tension within Eros. He must gamble to be free from gambling, just as one must desire to be free from desiring. Plato is considered as one of the most influential philosophers of classical Greece. He was an essential figure in the development of philosophy, and he founded the first institution of higher learning in the Western world. A more detailed analysis of his text can be found in the Macat Analysis.